What's up y'all? It's your boy Gadget Fox coming back to you yet with another video and I hope you like this one because I'm talking about the best settings for the Asus ROG Ally. I've owned this thing for a couple days and it's a pretty pricey toy and I just want to make sure everyone out there is getting the premium performance that they paid for. Okay, now here's the problem with this little device. It's a PC. If you're not comfortable with a PC, you may not know what you need to do to make sure you get the best out of your PC, AKA the ROG Ally, okay? The second thing, it is an AMD supported platform. So I'm guilty like everybody else. I've got a lot of team green going around in my house. I've got a lot of Nvidia graphics cards. So I understand their features but I wasn't familiar with AMD at first. So I had to become familiar with that. The third thing is that ASUS has its own specific software to make sure that you're getting the best out of it, okay? They got the crate, the armor crate, which honestly in the past I have been fond of, but it's been detailed specifically for this device. And the other thing, is the my asus center okay just making sure you got your updates so let's talk about that first all right if you haven't noticed there should be a blue little button down at the bottom let's go ahead and click it and hopefully everything's coming in clearly but as you can see welcome to my asus it recognizes the device let's skip all this other jazz you got the rg ally right it's telling you an essential update here warning 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 right it's going to tell you everything you need to update i've already updated the amd graphic drivers the rog screen manager and the firmware upgrade too right that's in my history it's done but what a lot of people are reporting right here is that 1.319 has been slowing a lot of the allies out there on the street you know what i'm skipping that i've already checked so you want to go into my asus that little blue button down at the bottom, just to make sure you've got what you need to have updated. Remember, the BIOS 1.319, go ahead and skip that. A lot of people are reporting that their stuff has been getting sluggish. Now, the second thing you want to get become familiar with is this little button right here. Okay, this is going to bring up the command center. All right, if you're not familiar with the command center, these are just some quick hotkeys. Just to get in there, you can toggle between silent, performance, turbo, and for everyone's reference, I don't have the device plugged in, so it's straight from the battery, okay? So, but in any case, these are some of the things that I've selected. One, you got the option to go from 720p to 1080p. You wanna make sure you're in 1080p, okay? Next thing, to the right, it goes from 60 hertz to 120, right? We paid for 120, give me 120. Now, this is a, a thing of preference, but since we're always running on battery, or we wanna try and use this portable as much as possible, you know what? I don't need LED brightness. I don't need my joysticks to go blue and purple, all right? What I want is as much battery performance going to the game as possible and one little hint right here one little extra nugget for everybody out there you got your real-time monitor okay this is a really good thing most times you gotta go and get some external software download it and have it report the information you want you got your frames per second your temps you got your battery percentage your gpu usage and your cpu juice usage okay but that's pretty much all for the command center so that's the second thing the third thing i mentioned well you know what before i go any further let me turn off this real-time monitor the next thing you want to do is go to the armor crate for asus right it's going to populate all this thing it just did a lot of jazz i really don't know why it did that any case what you want to do is you want to go to settings and you want to go to the operating mode okay you're going to have a couple things over here to the left that are going to be kind of important to you so the one thing i would do always once you get this thing 
is you go to this setting, go to GPU settings, and you know, a lot of people are complaining about there's not enough VRAM on their graphics cards. So why would I choose to operate with four gigabytes? I don't know if you can see that four gigabytes. I'm gonna go ahead and max this sucker out and bring it to eight, right? It's gonna ask me that I will, it was gonna tell me that I gotta restart it now. So you know what it means? I'm gonna restart it and I'll come right back, okay? So you just restart, it's going to restart and we'll just hold up here and take a pause and I'll come back when it's done. And we're back. So let's check to see if that got captured. So we go again to the armor crate. We go ahead and we look for settings. And then we go to our operating mode, GPU settings. And you can see now it's set at eight gigabytes. Okay. Eco assist, don't worry about it. You got your system stats. This is going to pretty much show you how much RAM. You got eight gigabytes of RAM storage. You see, I only have two games in here. So, um, in the future, I'll probably show something about adding an external uh, SSD or upgrading the memory, things of that nature. But then you want to go to the operating mode, right? All right. The next thing you want to do is, yeah, these settings work fine. But you know what? I paid for it. I want to do something and get everything I can out of this thing. So we're going to go to manual settings. Okay. It's just going to tell you that it takes effect after you apply them. Okay. Now this is what's called the TTPs, all right? This is what's gonna tell your system how much of it you want it to perform for you, all right? I like to change my thing. I like to change my, uh, my settings and I wanna create a new setting, right? Oh, shoot. I don't have my keyboard connected, so I don't wanna deal with that. So we're gonna call this manual mode number one. Let me tell you, SPL, this is the minimum wattage that you want your system working on. Now, of course, when you're traveling, you're probably not going to be able to set this at peak because it's going to suck up the battery. But while I'm at home or close to a charger, I want to make sure that this doesn't go at all any lower than 20. Okay, no lower than 20. So that's your SPL. That's where is the minimum that you want it to run. Now your SPPT, that's normally that when you're running something that's gonna be a little bit more demanding, that it's gonna to run to two to three minutes at that level. So I wanna go ahead and set it up to 25. Because if I'm transitioning through something, I don't want it to take that long. I don't wanna see hiccups or anything of that nature. Now your FPPT, that is set to when the system needs something that's so demanding, but you're only gonna allow it to run at that peak performance for about 10 seconds. So this takes care of when, um, let's say a stage is loading up or something of that nature. So you know what? I'm gonna set this not to 35 because then it's gonna be crazy. All right, I'm gonna set it to 30, okay? 30 is where I wanted to go. You know what? Let's let's get a little let's get a more dangerous. You know, I like Michael Jordan growing up, so let's set it up at 23. Let's go up to 28. And you know, Patrick Ewan for those old Knicks fans, 33. How about that? Alright, now we scroll down here. That's gonna set up all automatically fan one, fan two. Because the system is not gonna burn itself out. All right, we click that. It's going to give us a little warning that we are the ones doing it for, for this system. And do you understand that the risk and accept the responsibility? You know what? Yes, I'm a big boy. I'm accepting the responsibility. All right. So now that we're done with that, the next thing that I know is new for a lot of people out there because they're normally in the video is you got to play around and get comfortable with AMD software. Okay. Let this thing boot up. Bring this up. You got to get comfortable, right? So now you got to Let's go to our settings. Now, this is the same thing. It's going to show you your VRAM, L LP DDR5, 800 megahertz, the graphics card, Howard detail. All that information is in here. It's useful. Don't be scared of it because you typically know AMD. Now, 
you got your snap settings, your factory reset, and you got your reset. So let's go. Let's go right here into graphics, right? This is what we want to know. And I've already set it up to custom. What we want to make sure is we want to reduce the Raytheon anti lag. Okay. Then vertical refresh. Don't worry about it. Make sure it's off unless it's specified by the by the application that you're gonna be using. Games is not really gonna have that. I uh, anti anti or whatever, however you say that. Uh, surface format optimization. No, let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. Now we got performance. And then you go to display. Display, make sure AMD sync is on at all times, okay? You want AMD sync. And you want to make sure very bright is off. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, everyone, I try to make this a quick video. I hope you guys got some things to consider. I hope you play around with your device. Just don't take it out of the box and get so excited where you don't go in and set up some settings and test it and see what's best for you and what gives you the best performance. Always know about what you buy. Again, this is Gadget Fox coming back to you with a video that I hope was helpful. Like, subscribe. See you at next time.